right, so what do we expect from an Aja video, Pandemonium? We expect some driving, which is it's not much to see. Some driving, let's see. So we got a couple minutes of that. We got a couple shots of Moo Moo. Uh, we got more driving. Okay, that actually looks like it's not far from where she. I don't know. Anyway, so then we think. Okay. Then, oh 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 oh. Yeah, gloppy food. That looks good though. Ooh, that looks really good. But it is gloppy. So Aja driving gloppy food. A couple shots of Moo Moo, and then of course, there's the partying. And uh, we got a big party going on. There we got a party with all the lights and the rave music and everybody else. And it's the Boondockers Bash. So, uh, okay. So anyway, there's the Boondockers Bash. There they are. There they are. They're all hanging out together. I know Mike's. We, we've seen Mike there. And Brandy's probably there. And Butterfly Gypsy's there. And uh, anyway, so. And, and then some Thanksgiving stuff and all that other stuff. So, and of course... Aja Moo Moo and the ATV, which is always cool. So you know, you know, nothing, nothing to, <laughs> nothing to shake anything up much. Yeah, this is okay. There it is, Dome Rock. Yeah. So this is the Boondockers Bash here. That was probably Thanksgiving over there, but anyway. So anyway, uh, <laughs> and even more gloppy food. <laughs> uh, all right, and uh, so anyway, so uh, and. Uh, so everybody and, and more partying, more of the uh, night, the night lights, and the partying from Aja there. So uh, wow. Anyway, all right. So you sit there and you watch these videos of courtside, and oh my goodness, you know what? What? Uh, what more fun can be had? Really? Wow. <laughs> We we're pulling our leg on this one, Camping with the Kellys. Courtside, Arizona is so boring. Don't go. You won't like it. Okay. And, and I knew. I knew immediately they were having, you know. Anyway, they play some, you know, crazy music and they go out and drive around and have fun. The ATV stuff. And everybody's having a blast driving all around in the dust. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So they, it looks like a lot of fun. To be honest with you, camping with the Kellys there. A lot of fun driving around, zooming around the desert. And uh, what else are you going to do in Quartzsite? You know, it's not a really a hiking place. You're not going to go see beautiful waterfalls and beautiful mountain scenery. And it's a lot of dust, a lot of gravel, but you do have a lot of trails. And uh, you can, for ATV stuff, you know, it's a lot of fun. And then, of course, you know, there's the, uh, the beautiful, uh, you know, evening atmosphere. The sun goes down and the partying goes up, right? So anyway... <laughs> hey, check it out. It's not boring. I mean, it may be a little boring to watch if you're a no. If you're one of the pe many people watching all the the channels that are all showing the same people doing the same things over and over again and that. But you know, if you're there actually experiencing it, it's probably okay. And it went from Van City Van Life. Uh, what's his name? Sheldon? No. Um. Um. Bob? No. Fred? No. Uh, oh, Chrome. Yeah. Everything is within reach from his bed. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't have to ever get up again. <laughs> long, Long Honeymoon has a very good video uh, for beginners RV boondocking basics. Check that out. If you don't know, you will learn. Um, Deborah Dickinson, hot tub time. <laughs> you get to see a pool there and Deborah Dickinson and the dog and all that, but we don't really get too much hot tub action in that video i don't know I was, I was looking for you know i don't know i was watching waiting for a bunch of people in a hot tub and i did i didn't see it i just i, I don't know i just didn't see it very interesting one from uh the campulence man how to get insurance for your ambulance you know it's a, you know if you live in an ambulance uh, how do you convince an insurance company that that's a regular vehicle and that they should insure it you know, a lot of the nomads, we've been talking to about a lot of the nomads and insurance things. A lot of insurance companies give you a hassle if you're living in your vehicle full time. You know, it's okay if you're driving it around occasionally, but if you're in it 24-7, uh, you know, you could have some problems with insurance anyway. Campulence man checking it out. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so uh, check it out. <laughs> okay. I wonder if he called, called the guy up in the khakis. Yeah. Brought him that big, brought him a big jug of ranch sauce for his uh, pizza. I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, 
good information here from uh, Campfield's man and that wonderful pit bull Lefty. Uh, we, we can't have a video of uh, Campfield's man without seeing Lefty. Where's Lefty? Where's Lefty? Come on, we got to see Lefty. Lefty. Where's Lefty? The Campfield's man. Get a little bit of Lefty there. Just a little bit. What an adorable dog. One from Tom Green, the former MTV star who is now living in his vehicle. Uh, we get a uh, the, the Avengers Transformers movie location, Ship Rock. <laughs> Good one from Tra Tangerine Travel, Seven Reasons Why We'd Never Live in Mexico. You know, we do see a lot of nomads uh, traveling down. Well, not a lot of them. I would like to see more nomads traveling down to Mexico, but apparently uh, a, lot of, you know, a lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. You know, they may go into Algodones, go across the border from, from Yuma to do that, get their teeth done and, and some, get some cheap pharmaceuticals, but that's pretty much all we see. We know Baja, California, you know, I don't know. We don't see, you know, I don't know. It's kind of, uh, I don't know. We should see. We should see more nomads going down to Mexico. That would be fun. From Van Life Rocks Ray here, pajamas, winter PJs, Van Life RVing. What, yeah, what, how do you stay warm in your van? Mr. Buddy. I don't know, man. Get a dog. I don't think he has a dog. He doesn't have a dog. I don't know. Three dog night. Anyway, good video from VLR. Hey, you want to say a Camo Dave Christmas card? Look at this. I want to thank, uh, I want to thank. <laughs> what a thank. Uh, Brenda Stewart, wishing you a joyful Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you, Brenda. Aww. <laughs> Got a Christmas card you want to send? Send it to, this is, yeah, there's the address right there. Camo Dave, 104 North Green Street. I don't know where the, if we're getting glare on that or not. I'll just turn it slowly so we, you can see that. And there's the address. So Unstoppable Morganton, uh, 286 double five. And I, we may have some Christmassy cards. We're working on them. Last minute stuff. I don't know. Something might happen. So we might have some. We've just sent out a whole pile of more of those Camo Dave News Army cards. We may have some Camo Dave Christmas 2020 cards too. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's it's in the works. Letters, 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 letters for the 8th of December 2020. Uh, my or morning rant this morning, I talked a lot about... Uh, the negative comments you get on YouTube, you know, nobody, you know, if you have your comments available, people like to post negative stuff and how you deal with that and what's too much negativity and, and how you can use that negativity to, you know, grow your channel and actually benefit your channel. I don't know. Anyway, a lot of good comments on that. Uh, Terry B says, your rant makes sense, Dave. I was talking about 40%, how 40% of the people like your channel and 40% don't like your channel but still watch. And then you've got the 10% on either end. 10% love pretty much everything you do and 10% hate everything you do. And then there's that 1% on either end that are just either love, 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 love you and want to marry you. And then there's the other 1% that just hate, hate, hate you and want to get you. Anyway, uh, Terry says... Uh, the, one, of the, one of the things she finds troubling is the strangely nasty comments certain men use in their group think about any YouTube woman that doesn't fit their mythical image of what the world should look like. <laughs> their best advice for YouTube, the, the very best for YouTube viewers, if they do not like certain YouTube personalities, is unsubscribe and move on. You are not required to make it your mission in life to rant and rave about him or her for the next 30 years. No one really wants to hear it. You know, again, people watch videos not because they like you necessarily or they dislike you necessarily. It's because they find you oddly compelling. And again, there are people, there are people now that have had nomad channels and now they've become kind of like parody channels. You know, people watch not because of the nomad exploits. They watch because that person is just odd and they don't like you. They're just, they think you're funny to watch. You know what I'm saying? We know some channels like that where almost, they do almost nothing, but they just come on and, and, and you know people are sitting there with a couple drinks down their gullet and they're just kind of laughing at, well, let's watch that one minute and 27 second video from you know who and just laugh at it. You know they're doing that, but whatever it is, they don't miss, you know, it, it is true. You know, it, and Terry's right. There's, a, you know, a lot, a lot of the channels 
women's public presentation, so to speak. Some of the women, you know, it, it's interesting to look at the whole spectrum of how women are portrayed on in the YouTube nomad community, you know, and some women actively flaunt it. They do. They, you know, they, they want to, uh, they, they know who their audience is, probably 98% men, and they know what the men like and they give it to them. You know what I'm saying? At least in a peer, in, you know, all the, you know, ugh. <laughs> I don't know. Then you've got the and, and then uh, you know women are not sending the same message to guys on YouTube. And then guys, how do they how do they kick back at the women? You know, or, or you respond to the women. You know, whatever. You know, I don't know, man. It's it's very interesting to uh, see all that and uh, and yeah, what, what men may have a certain image in their mind of what a woman should be, and they don't see that in the videos. And yeah, Terry's right. Rather than just change the channel and move on, they just have to. There's some, again, there's something oddly compelling. Look at the line screw Carolyn's RV life thing. You know, it's just, you know, line screw for three years now has been doing videos on her. And yeah, okay, he doesn't like her channel. He doesn't like her very much. Move on. But he can't do it. He's a perfect example of he, he finds her oddly compelling. Maybe he doesn't like her, but finds her oddly compelling. Uh, Jeff Rock says Carolyn's RV life says in her videos that she's a master marketeer from her, you know, in her past career. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've always, always wonder about marketing people. You know, if they brag about you either, it's either you can do it or you can't, but don't, the ones that, what is that? There's a line, those who talk about it can't, those who do it, just do it. You know, I am a professional marketeer. You know, that, I'm always wondered, I've always wondered about marketing and stuff. You know, if you can do it, you do it. If you can't, if you if you say you can do it, but can you really do it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, you know, I think, I think, if I got to give advice to Carolyn's RV life, I think it's that she's trying to do too much at once. You know, uh, somebody said, uh, I remember taking some marketing classes back at JMU back when I was there way years ago in Har beautiful Harrisonburg, Virginia. A, mo a message aimed at too many people doesn't work. You have to focus your channel, focus your message. And if you're trying to send too many streams of whatever it is out there, you're just going to miss everybody. And I think to some degree, Carolyn's RV life needs to f be more focused in what she's doing. You know, is it a travel channel? Is it a political channel? Is it an, an advice channel? She's going for a lot of different things in that channel. And, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe she needs to have five different channels and just focus each one narrowly. It's my Camo Dave channel uh, on Facebook. It's Dave Hughes channel. Okay, go go friend me or whatever. Anyway, I put a picture up this morning about me. This is me in 1974 <laughs> at the Hughes River Gap, actually, up there on the uh, Skyline Drive. And uh, yeah, no beard, pre-beard. I think I was about 16. And uh, look at the bell bottoms there. Ain't that neat? Ain't they, ain't they cool? Ain't they cool? I got a lot of comments on that today. I did. Uh, this is off subject, says Anna, but I just saw your picture of when you were 16 back in 74. What a cutie. I was 14 at the time. We have seen some major changes in the world in that time. Absolutely. Some good and some bad. Who would have thought that back then we would go from uh, dial-up phone yeah, that you can only use in your home to cell phones that we can use from anywhere and, and computers and stuff. Oh, yeah, I remember being back at college in the late 70s and we had computers, but they were in the computer lab. You know, we didn't think of having a computer in your dorm room or that you could actually use every day. And then you had punch cards and tape, those, those ta paper tape things with holes punched in them. Oh my goodness, and, and, and you know, the, and, and, the ta and the other tape, recording light tape with programs on it, yeah. Things have really changed from these uh, caveman days back then. Oh yeah, and I really, that picture brought back some memories, she writes. Keep keeping it real, Camo Dave, and thank you for sharing me, sharing your life. I like your attitude. <laughs> uh, I am, uh, Rick was talking about my morning video too, where I also talked about negativity in YouTube comments, and I used the word trolls a couple of times. Yeah, that, you know, Rick disagrees with what a troll is and what I was claiming a troll was. You know, you can be a critic of a channel, you can have negative comments about a channel, doesn't mean you're a troll, you know? What is a troll? I don't know, you know? <laughs> 
it's it's one of those things, you know, I know it when I see it, but yeah, you know, just to criticize a YouTuber's channel for, you know, justifiable, you know, constructive criticism, sure, it doesn't make you a TRO double A Florida man says, uh, you know who, we're not going to mention the channels, I don't want to get into, you know, who's a good comment scrubber. We were talking about in the video this morning how, you know, a lot of times you go on these nomad or whatever channels and you all the comments are positive 100 percent. we love you we love the, we love this we love that we love everything we love everything you do you're wonderful oh don't worry oh it's a blah, blah, blah. yeah uh, and we're getting some examples of good comment scrubbers uh how so many nomads have the thinnest of skin <laughs> uh Again, that's why my channel is here, so we can get a little bit, you can actually start talking, you know, people putting their stuff up in public. You can actually come here and talk about it. They don't want you talking about it on their channel unless you're saying something really nice. You know, again, we try to keep the comments sane and civil, but um, yeah. Ether Bunny, yes, people watch YouTube channels they may not exactly like, but I really question the motivations of people who continue to watch and allow themselves to be angered what they've seen over and over again. There's little, there's, but there's a difference between criticizing you someone you don't like in the comments and saying mean, hurtful, and sometimes na nasty, nasty things about them, especially when those comments are about someone's physical appearance. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -do -ba -do -ba. Nobody seems to care about how most of the men look, but let a w woman on YouTube come out without wearing makeup or a cute outfit. All of a sudden, you get a lot of comments negative. Yeah, that's very true. Very, very true, uh, Ether Bunny. Men can get away with, well, although we do get a lot of men getting criticized here on YouTube for, you know, not wearing shirts or having crazy beards. But it is true, I think. Um, Women have, are much more judged, you know, in the appearance category than guys are. But again, I think a lot of some of the women on YouTube that we do see are actively flaunting it. You know, the appearance thing. You know, they are, they're really doing that. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. What goes around comes around, Ether Bunny. Doing Jethro Mash, it's a Beverly Hillbillies reference. All those percentages, percentages, 40 goes into 20, goes into 10, goes in, whatever, yeah. 10, Lance is 10, do 15, don't, 35 will, 40% are confused. <laughs> Just remember this, half the people kind of like you, half the people kind of don't like you. But 40%, uh, I'm getting confused myself. But the middle 80% still watch you. But then there's 10% that love you and really love you. And then there's 10% that really don't love you. But they all watch. But I don't know, it's confusing. Yeah. 10, 40, 40, 10. It all equals 100. Okay. Watch my video again. If it confused you, then you need to watch my morning rant video more. Watch it a few times. Watch it three or four times, okay? You'll get it eventually. Briar Rose, more percentages. All these stats are reminding me of work. 20% of the people do 80% of the work. 20% of the people cause 80% of the problems. Obviously not the same 20 are doing both. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are. <laughs> you know, it's, they always say that about like health insurance. You know, why do your rates keep going up and stuff? It's because there's like 10 or 20% of the people are using the health insurance. The other 80% aren't and you're paying for them. You know what I'm saying? John Lennon learned it's 40, 40, 10. Oh, 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 nine. Okay. There's that 0 0.001. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. December 8th, 1980. How many, what's my, that's what, 40 years ago today. Holy cow, I didn't know that. I, I just, that was like, I mean, I remember it. I was watching Monday Night Football that night as a lot of other folks were doing. I remember, how, it, you know, and then Howard, Howard Cosell comes on. Very bad, sad news about John Lennon. 40 years ago today. Holy cow. And that's interesting that I was doing that video this morning about talking about that 1% crazies. Yeah, John Lennon learned that it's 40% that kind of liked him, 40% that kind of didn't like him, 10% that really liked him, and 9.999% that didn't like him, and that one 
that 0.001%, yeah, that, uh, wow, took his life on, uh, on the, uh, March, uh, on December the 8th, 2020. Wow. Wow. I remember that day. I, I just did, I forgot the date. December the 8th, 40, 40 years ago today. Wow. 40 years ago. That's wild. Wow. John Lennon was my favorite Beatle. I liked all the Beatles. I really am watching a lot of old Beatles stuff. I, there's a whole bunch of cool channels that analyze their music. I, the White Album is one of my favorite albums of all time. Sgt. Pepper, uh, Revolver. Uh, those albums are just stunningly brilliant even today. And uh, the Beatles were just wonderful, in, uh, each in their own certain way. But John was always my favorite. And uh, yeah, I still remember that day very clearly. Very shocking. But uh, 20, 40, 12, and then 40%. I kept talking about 40% today. And it was 40 years ago today that the assassination happened. Wow. Woo. What a crazy, what a cr crazy, weird rant. Some, something psychic is running through my brain today. I don't know, man. I don't know. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I love all you guys and uh, hope you all are having a uh, rather sane December. And uh, whether you're in courtside or not, take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you later. Vlog under.